I want to thank everybody who uh, who sent prayers and well wishes uh, to my friend, uh, my coworker Marie. Uh, thank you very much. I, I did want to come on here and, and acknowledge that I did see the comments uh, and under the previous video I did about a couple weeks ago, and then a follow ups on the community page. I do want to. I, I tried to address every single one uh, last night. So thank you very much. Uh, but for those who don't know, she passed away yesterday morning. Uh, I got the I got the notification on it, uh, probably around I don't know maybe six o'clock. Um, to me, it was expected being out the condition of her on a daily. She was in ICU for weeks. Her health kept deteriorating, um, and then I found out through a close friend of mine who kept in contact with her family and went over there and gave Marie the donations that I accumulated and the card. And they said that it put a smile on her face, even though she couldn't talk, she couldn't really react. Um, but she's with the angels now. She's not suffering anymore. That right there is the, the comfort that I get. Um, um, let this be a lesson if it's not already a lesson to people. Uh, go get yourself checked. Go go get a colonoscopy, especially if you're in your 40s or more. Uh, she passed away of, I think it was kidney failure or something. Uh, she didn't even know she had it. About a month ago, she was fine. She came into the store, was fine. You know, we joked around like always. And then one day I saw her a couple of days later. She like she was losing weight. She was she was dehydrated. I, I gave her a hug and uh, told her, you know, get better. What you know, get yourself checked. And she was like, okay, David. Um, she's she was Bahamian, so she had that uh, accent, which was adorable. Um, she was about sixty-five. Like I said in the video uh, when I first brought it up, um, she loved to cook. I want to think about some good things that she did. She loved to cook. Uh, she would always bring me her country's food. And she enjoyed it. She enjoyed cooking. And she enjoyed eating. And we enjoyed laughing. One of the things mainly that we joked about was like during the, 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 the stimulus checks and any bonuses that we get, you know, she would always be like, David. Uh, I don't see mine in my account yet. When's it going to come in? And I would always be like, it's pending, pending, pending. And then she'd say, hurry, pending, hurry up. And then, I, we, then we, we would joke about, every time I would see her, I would go, ping, 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 which would be short for pending. And then she'd be like, pending, pending, ping, 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 whatever, and cracking up with the smile and the laugh that she, uh, she gave. She was a very hard worker, Marie was. Um, she had no family here. So basically, myself and selected others were her family. And I want to give a shout out to Hilda, who went over and seen her a couple times in her state to give her the stuff and keep her cheerful, even though she really couldn't uh, communicate back. I don't even, from what I was told, I don't even know if she heard everything. You know, unfortunately, I wish I would have gone, but my schedule didn't allow it. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that she called me maybe three weeks ago and her voice was really raspy and you know she just wanted to let me know what's going on the best way that she could and I told her I loved her and I told her thank you for everything I said please you know we're thinking about you you know prayers to you and she said thank you um, but you could tell she was struggling it was you know that, that was before she went to the hospital so luckily she went to the hospital and and I like to think that all the prayers that everybody gave that it kept her going. Um, she just lost the fight. She couldn't fight no more. Um, what I'm going to miss about Marie is her infectious personality, the way that she uh, made me laugh, you know, and, you know, she made my day, you know, better. And, um, just seeing her come in, she worked really hard. She finally got the job, a job that she actually enjoyed. 
when she left here, she was only here like a day, or one day a week, whatever, and that wasn't enough for her. She had an apartment. There were some kind people who helped her out um, with things. And, you know, I helped her out the way, the best way that I could. She was very appreciative, very humble. And, uh, but she was stubborn. She didn't want to, she didn't want to any medicine, really. She was leaving it in the hands of God. She was very religious until she had no choice but to go to the hospital. So, you know, I, I thank the doctors who did what they could for her who kept her comfortable as best as they possibly could. Uh, but it's sad. It's sad I'm not going to see my friend anymore here in this life. I got a lot of memories from from her. It made me laugh every time I think about you. I'm going to smile. I'm sad. I'm hurt. But uh, that's why I always say, you know, true friends, loyal friends are hard to come by. You can find them in all different kinds of places. And uh, this was this is one that hurts. You know, it's another reason why I say don't take YouTube so serious, y'all. You know, it, this it, this is reality. I've had to suffer loss, family wise and really good friend wise, my life. So I mean, I I've seen a, a lot of passings. Um, some hurt more than others, but you know, you know, you know, this one hurt. She was a really good woman. She deserved better. She didn't deserve to go through this. She was a hard worker. She worked her butt off for her family in her country to send money to. It's almost like she sacrificed a lot here just to be able to send her family money. So I hope her family overseas really appreciated what Marie did. She worked her butt off for you guys. You know, I, I, I would just like to think that in her last moments, she thought of the good things, if she was able to, that were going on. You know, and the people that really cared about her, you know, that uh, hope she didn't hope she understood that we didn't forget about her. I, I, I made sure of that. I called twice the hospital and um, got money collected for and the card that my friend said that she lit up when she saw that more so the card that she appreciated the love that people didn't forget about her. You know, that part that hurts that she didn't have her family here. And I wasn't able to go over there, but you know she knew I was there. I was there for. Her. Um, so, Marie, rest in peace, love. I miss you. It hurts, but you're not hurting anymore, sweetheart. You're with the angels above. And until the day that we meet again, my friend. Ping, 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 ping.